What's up guys, Hicking here bringing you some Resident Evil news uh, regarding some new rumours. Uh, this one on Resident Evil 9. Now again, um, take this with a grain of salt, it again comes from Dark Scullum. And before I continue, remember to like and subscribe. And yeah, let's go into this and dissect what we have here. So, let's see. Uh, this was a post actually from a few months ago. I think about four months ago. But uh, there's some new info now. But we'll read for the old one stuff first, okay? So this is by a poster on one of the uh, Reddit Resident Evil forums. Rumor mill only. Resident Evil 9 info is circulating circulating the internet. So yeah, this is kind of true because a few months ago there's a lot of Resident Evil 9 info saying that the game was going to be called Apocalypse and that it was going to be about Wendigos and take place like uh, or be inspired by American folklore. Uh, but this stuff here, let's see what this stuff says. Uh, this game is due to release late 2024. Hmm, that's... Uh, to be revealed this year, it will feature Chris Redfield and bring back a variety of the classic Resident Evil characters. Okay, okay. Uh, Resident Evil 9 will revolve around Chris Redfield with the potential inclusion of other classic characters in to feature such as Claire, Jill and Leon. We should have the chance to play as other characters in certain missions, okay? The game is expected to focus less on horror and more on action, but it will still be a horror game. The camera mode is yet to be confirmed, but there's a possibility that players may have the option to choose between third person and third person perspectives. Okay, so let's start with the first one, right? Uh, 2024, I doubt that because, well then again, this, this might have come from Chris Marks, the leaker, who's now been revealed to be a troll and to be another leaker actually. Uh, though he's still adamant that this info is correct, I don't know. Uh, um, personally, I'm not going to believe anything he says now until we see whether or not he was right about that GTA 6 leak. Um, that's going to supposedly happen um, in the next few weeks. Um, but yeah, I don't think this game's coming out in 2024. Definitely not. Maybe. May no, no, no. It's twenty. It's 2025, in my, in my opinion. Um, revolve around Chris Redfield, yes, because if you guys remember... Resident Evil 8 DLC, right? They, the developers had a choice. They either could have chosen to continue Chris's story or they could have continued with, uh, you know, the Winter story and closed that off and they chose to do that. They chose to close off the Winter storyline with that DLC with Shadows of Rose, which means most likely that uh, the Chris and the BSA uh, subplot that we were supposed to get in, or they were originally thinking of doing is probably going to be moved into Resident Evil 9 instead now. Uh, and yeah, there have been rumors saying that you will be playing as all four main characters and other characters as well And yes, that it is going to be more of an action game It makes sense because if you're going to have Chris, Leon, Jill and Claire in it as the main characters It makes sense for the game to be more of an action focused uh, direction Especially if the rumors are true that Resident Evil 5 remake is coming out afterwards uh, Resident Evil 9 could be done in a way to set or get players ready including new ones for that game as well, right? Because uh, if you look back on what Resident Evil 1, sorry, what Resident Evil 7 did, that was a homage to Resident Evil 1, and Resident Evil 8 was a homage to Resident Evil 4, and you know, we had Remake 2 come out after 7, we had Re Remake 4 come out after 8, so it kind of makes sense that Remake 5 comes out after 9, and that 9 will have elements in it that will be similar to what's going to happen in Resident Evil 5, most likely, you know, like. But yeah, let's go on to the other info that's come out. So this was from four months ago, and now we've got some new info, apparently. Okay, so this one is just from a few hours ago that I've read. Uh, by the same post, and apparently Dos Gollum revealed this on his Discord. Dos Gollum again. Jill Valentine and Chris Redfield would be main stars in the game. Okay, yeah. So far, the game is 50% complete. Okay, yeah, I can believe that. Uh, it would be the longest game in the franchise. It will also be the final number titled game. From then on out, the franchise will be only spin-offs and side games. The game is due for a 2025 release with a potential for a remake of another installment to release in 2024 while we wait for the game. Okay, so let's go through the Resident Evil 9 stuff first, okay? So... I don't know how accurate Dos Gollum is sometimes, but he's 50-50 he's when it comes to his RE info, in my opinion. But he's saying that Jill and Chris are going to be the main characters of this game. Now, there have been other rumors, like I just said, that uh, originally it was going to be Chris, Leon, Jill, and Claire. They are going to be the main characters. So, maybe, maybe it's been changed. Maybe it's been changed around, and now Chris and Jill are going to take the spotlight. It makes sense to bring Jill back, because Death Island pretty much 
brought her character back into the present sort of timeline and set her up for future appearances, especially when you read up on the fact that Jill's uh, antibodies uh, and the stuff that's, that happened to her basically stop her from aging completely. So she, she would still be able to kick ass. Uh, the game is 50% complete. Um, it's not That's not surprising to hear. I remember when Resident Evil 7 was coming out and Capcom was pretty much keeping up to date with informing us that, oh yeah, it's 50% complete, now it's 60, now it's 70. And that, that all took place in the space of a year. So I could see this being a case of they're going to spend the entirety of 2024 just now and then to finishing this game up so it gets ready for release in 2025. And yeah, this game's hands down coming out in 2025 because you, it, it seems like we get a main game every four years. Uh, so we had 7 in uh, 2017, we had 8 in 2021, so it makes sense that 9 is going to come out in 2025. And especially with the remakes as well. We had RE2 Remake in 2019, and then we ended up with RE4 Remake in 2022. So what, that's, um, yeah, that's 20, 21, 22, 20, 23, sorry, 2023. So again, 4 year gap. Uh, which is a bit weird though, because uh, apparently Resident Evil 5 Remake is coming out in 2026, so... Uh, and you have to also keep in mind, Resident Evil 4 Remake was originally meant to come out in 2022. So, thing, thing, so some things happened behind the scenes, obviously, because of different developers taping, taking over and, that and doing that and doing this, so yeah. But, um, again, this isn't the first time I've heard that this is supposed to be the final numbered entry. So yeah, this Dusk Golem is really sticking with... This is the last numbered game. Like this is actually going to be the last RE game that's going to close off all the main story points. And then after this, we're just going to get a bunch of spin-offs. We're not going to get Resident Evil 10. We're not getting Resident Evil 11 or whatever. No, it's it's going to be spin-offs and side games from now on. The main storyline is going to end, and it makes sense because we know Chris survives for at least another 18 years, 16 or 18 years, thanks to Shadows of Rose. So, and it doesn't look like he's in action anymore at this point because you have to think about it like he'll be very old he'll be in like in his late 60s or early 70s at this point it doesn't make sense for him to be a playable character do you know what I mean he's not old solid snake do you know what I mean this is an mgs4 there has to be a there has to be a bit of logic to this when you're bringing certain characters back and doing some spin-off games or even other remakes for example makes a lot more sense now like if, if nine is going to close off a lot of these loose ends but uh we'll see we'll see and then there's some other info here as well, and I'm going to keep that for another video, uh, but yeah, this stuff regarding Resident Evil 9 coming out in 2025, I believe it. Um, I do believe we are going to get Jill back because I've, it's been a long time now, and it wouldn't make sense because she, she's one of the main characters, and we haven't had her in the games. We, she hasn't had her own game, her own main game since Revelations 1, technically. Yes, we had Resident Evil 3 Remake recently, but that was more of an expansion slash sort of DLC content for RE2 Remake. It wasn't really a full game. They didn't really do justice with that game. Um, which is surprising considering what they're... What, it's the same you know the same developers that did uh, Separate Ways did RE3 Remake. And they sort of redeemed themselves with that DLC. So it's like, you know, they went back to the drawing board and were like, okay, we're going to do this right. And they did. But, uh, you know, the idea of making... Cre and especially if this is the final numbered game, it just makes sense you would bring back the two OGs. But I'm also hoping and crossing my fingers that we do see Leon and Claire as well. Because, again, if it is literally the final numbered game, having those four together in one game for the first time, especially if it's the final numbered one, is just very symbolic and poetic. So, you know, as, uh, as, as, as a famous person once said, it's like poetry, it rhymes. So yeah, it, it needs to happen, I think. It needs to happen, and I do believe some of this info, but we'll, I'm assuming we'll find out more in 2024. It depends. It depends what happens in 2024, because it seems we are getting an RE game, but that's coming out then. But uh, I'll talk about that later, yeah? So I hope you guys like this video. As always, remember to like and subscribe, and I shall see you when I shall see you. Take care, and bye.